Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2015, brought to you by Church Tech Arts, your source for all things live production in the church. Visit our website at churchtecharts.org. All right, well, we are here at Infocom 2015, uh, checking out the uh, new Allen & Heath DLive video or uh, video console. It has been a long day. It is an audio console. And I'm here with Michael Palmer from um, Allen and Heath, and he's going to tell us all about this uh, really slick new console. We got the rundown earlier today. Very impressive console. So, uh, Michael, take it away. Well, well, thanks, Mike, and welcome to Infocom, like you said. Um, so, DLive represents um, over 50,000 man hours in development with our crackpot team of, uh, <laughs> of software developers. We've been working on this project behind the scenes for the last few years, knowing that we needed to take the next step in digital mixing to a lot of technology that simply wasn't around when we started digital consoles back in 2005. So where this is, a, one of the things this is to take advantage of is some, a lot of the latest, the newest FPGA processing. So there's five internal FPGA processing cores that allow us to do a crazy up to 3,000 by 3,000 audio pass in the, within the network. The system uh, works very similar as far as the way that the construction is done as our, uh, flat, our, as our initial legacy iLive product did, where we have the mix engine is in a remote rack and the surface is our I.O. controller. However, what's been taken advantage of things like high speed, um, gigabit network technology, full redundancy throughout. So we really wanted to push this towards a larger uh, touring consoles, mm -hmm. and so those were some of the things that needed to address. Daylight viewable screens. Um, these screens weren't available, you know, a while back, so now we have multi-touch, 12-inch, dual daylight viewable screens with Gorilla Glass on the front for impact resistance, so neat things like that. The, the system's built around the DM processing core. The DM processing core is a 128-channel mix engine, all running at 96K sample rate. You can actually expand the mix engine to have up to 96 inputs on the front of it, actually 128, but we can go 64 here, we can connect our DX32 expander, all running in redundant backup. There are also five option I.O. slot cards for doing things like Maddie and Dante and Ethersound and whatever else we want to put in those. Yep. Those cards have the capability of 128 channels of I.O. at 96K. Um, the first few cards that will come out available will be our 128 channel Waves card, which also does digital split. And we'll have a digital card to connect units together with gain tracking and things like that. We kept the familiar workflow from our GLD. We've, so we've been so, we've, we've had so much success with the GLD and the Q products in the, in the live sound market as well as iLive. We wanted to keep some of that familiar with the way it drives. So we created this new, um, new touch screen on board that from an overview, Looks very similar to a GLD, so it keeps that familiarity. There's one knob per function. Everything is on a knob, really easy to get around on the system. However, first in the industry is a customizable graphic user interface on the right-hand side of the desk. So we can actually create custom workflows, and I'll show you a little bit if you want to hold that for me. Go and do, hit the Setup button, we can actually tab in, and we can actually drag in what we call these GUI widgets into the right-hand side of the page. So if someone wants things like their aux sends on the page or their effects sends, or their gate and compressor, you can actually put those over on the desk and actually have those now. As I assign through these, I have those live on the deck with an, with an actual a data encoder for that. So it makes a very fast and intuitive workflow. All of the LEDs being, being color changing, so you always know a status. Red is always gain. Really easy to get around on. Pan is green, things like that. And the screens, in, where these multi-touch screens come in handy are things like I.O. routing. We have so much I.O. we can have on the network five 128 channel cards, 96 channels of expansion plus a rack, you need to be able to see all those on the screen. So we have a really cool little grid screen that we can pinch and zoom. If we need to go on an IO stuff, it works very similar to a patch bay. You can drag your finger along, patch your IOs on it. Sonically, we spent a lot of work internally on this. We actually did variable bit processing underneath the hood of this and a lot of the critical things like the summing bus. Those are 96 bit processing in the summing bus, so massive amounts of headroom for ultimate audio quality. LEDs underneath the hood is integrated. It's color changing. It's stored in the scenes. All the really cool, neat things. Product's going to start shipping around September. Um, it's fully integrated with our Mi 1 personal monitor. So the Mi 1 personal monitoring goes right into the system. These things are going to have a retail price starting at $22,000 and up. And a fully load system is still under $35,000. So really powerful package for 160 by 64 yep. fully expandable large format digital mixing system. So. Yep. Very cool. And you actually have, this is kind of the, the largest model with the most number of faders. Yep. You've got 12, 12, and 12 here, uh, correct? 
correct? And that, this is similar to our iLife 144. Yep. The other one is laid out like our T112, so it has three, three banks of 12. And then there's a smaller version, which is a single screen that has 80 faders on board. So yeah. three surfaces, three racks, plus an expander. The expander's modular, as well as five option card slots on the outside of it. So, so lots of flexibility. It's a great user interface. I was playing with it earlier. Um, really like what's happening with this thing. And uh, you know, we'll see it uh, in September. And I'm sure people can go to the, uh, the website and learn more information about it. Yep. So the website is www.allen-heath.com. Go there. There's a full interactive video. There's tons of high-res images and everything on board. And we'll have more to come as we launch our YouTube channel for the product. So. All right. Perfect. Well, thanks, Michael. Thanks for sticking around tonight. Thank and uh, great product from Alan Heath. Mm -hmm.